बसमिल्लर आई एम डॉक्टर जावेद इकबाल खोकर प्रोफेसर ऑफ फ्रेंजिक मेडिसिन एंड टॉक्सिकोलॉजी एज आई एम डिस्कसिंग पर्सनल आइडेंटिटी एंड दिस इज दी ट्वेंटी एथ लेक्चर ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड आई एम डिस्कसिंग दी पैरामीटर्स ऑफ एज डिटर्मिनेशन एंड आई हैव स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन टीथ सो इन दिस लेक्चर टूडे विल कैरी फॉरवर्ड हाउ वी कैन डिटर्मिन एज फ्राम द टीथ एंड दी कंटेंट्स ऑफ द टॉप in this lecture will be that i will try to discuss what are the methods for age estimation from teeth in intrauterine and in extrauterine life so the age determination during intrauterine life the age is estimated from the width of the dentine and the calcification of the crown for example 2.9 mm of central incisor or 2.4 mm of canine and molar it is at 28th week of intrauterine life they have not yet erupted but they are within the gums and the size help in determination of the age then the calcification in intrauterine life the tip of the crown of primary incisor the calcify by the end of fifth month of intrauterine life and by the end of seventh month remaining teeth also calcify so the first crown uh, starts to calcify in fifth month and the rest of the teeth in seventh month and this is helpful radiologically in estimation of the age then in extra uterine ages the there are we know two sets of teeth that is primary and secondary the primary teeth are also called deciduous or milk teeth whereas the permanent teeth they are called as also secondary teeth or the permanent teeth. the temporary teeth they are 10 in number in each jaw and the eruption of deciduous teeth begins in 6th or 7th month of life when the first tooth appear in the upper jaw the eruption of all the deciduous teeth is completed by the end of 2 years that is the eruption of all the temporary teeth it is completed by the end of 2 years then there is a period of mixed dentition when the temporary and permanent both teeth are there that is that is deciduous teeth they remain in the jaw for some years and this is the period when both temporary and the permanent teeth are found in the jaw this is called as mixed period of dentition and the mixed dentition period it starts from the fall of the first deciduous tooth and eruption of first permanent tooth that means first permanent tooth has appeared and the rest of the deciduous or the milk teeth are there so the mixed dentition starts by the eruption of first permanent tooth in the period of mixed dentition it starts from 6 to 7th year because the first tooth uh, temporary or the milk teeth it falls in 6th or 7th year and by that time the first permanent tooth also appear so the period of mixed dentition it starts from 6 to 7 year when the first permanent tooth erupts till the fall of last deciduous tooth which is roughly 12 to 13 year so from 6 to 7 year 12 to 13 year is a period of mixed dentition now we'll discuss the eruption of teeth first the milk teeth or the temporary teeth the central incisor lower they 
appear at the age of 6 to 8 month then central incisor upper 7 to 9 month lateral incisors lower 10 to 12 months in lateral incisor upper 7 to 9 months first molar by the age of 12 to 14 months and K9 17 to 18 month. The second molar they appear it appears in 20 to 30 months. So total teeth temporary teeth they are 20 in number and by 30th month that is approximately uh, two and a half years their eruption is completed. At the age of one year there are eight teeth. At the age of one and a half year there are sixteen teeth and by the age of two and a half year there are complete twenty uh, milk teeth. So at the age of one year, the child has four uh, milk teeth. In one and a half year, they are 16 in number. And in two and a half, they are 20. Now, design of our temporary teeth. When we plot the chart, it appears as right they are labeled as right left m c i i c m these letters stand from m for molar c for canine and i for incisor so they are 2 1 2 in upper jaw and 2 1 2 on the left side so they are 5 plus 5, 10 in the upper jaw. On the right side, 2 molar, 1 canine and 2 incisors. On the left side also, 2 molars, 1 canine and 2 incisors. Then in the lower jaw, same, 5 on the right side and 5 on the left side. 2, 1, 2, that is 2 molar, 1 canine and 2 incisors. Similarly, on the left side, 2 molar, 1 canine and 2 incisor. Total they are 20 in number. Now this is the chart we draw. And they appear like in the center you can see this is showing the uh, upper jaw in the center two central incisors and on their sides there are lateral molars and then canines so there are four incisors two central and two lateral then canines and after that first molar and second molar they are actually at a place of premolars of the adult but at this stage they are called as molar. So this is the diagram representing the one jaw or the upper uh, jaw showing the temporary teeth. And in the lower jaw similarly in the center there are two incisors and on their sides there are two lateral in, uh, in, uh, incisors and further lateral there are two canines and then two first molars and two <coughs> second molars so, so this is the lower jaw 10 teeth total in number thank you very much this was all about the uh, uh, temporary teeth